What's up guys, Jesse and Melissa here with Adventure Endeavor. We are camping outside of Tucson, Arizona, and we thought it would be a great time to talk to you guys about emergencies when RVing and certain things that you should keep an eye out for. Yeah, and I'm gonna start by saying this is by no means an all-encompassing list, but just some general ideas that we thought of that we find helpful, and you can always build on and expand this list for yourself. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Alright guys, so if you've been following this channel, you know a little bit about our history, and if you have not, I'm going to go into it briefly. Basically, we started our RVing because of a very tragic event in Las Vegas, Nevada. We survived the Route 91 mass shooting, and it was very traumatic. And you know what? It made us realize that life is more important than stuff. So this video, I think we, we would like to state that, you know, life and surviving and thriving is much important than stuff. Um, and we kind of took our emergency situations a little bit more serious after that event and we made it a big priority. So now that that's started, let's get into it. So the first thing to know if you want to be prepared and uh, you know be all set up with RV emergency preparedness is uh, being aware of your surroundings. Um, and that is a large scale thing that basically we're out in the middle of nowhere right now. As you can tell, there's not much around. Um, and when our location is changing all the time and we are in remote areas, you never know where the nearest hospital or urgent care is. So that's a really important thing to look up as you're coming into a new spot. And vet uh, clinics as well for our dogs. Like we were out here earlier this week and we had a slight, I wouldn't call it emergency, but an issue with our older dog. Mm -hmm. And you know, luckily we already knew where the vet was. It was easy to find. Mm -hmm. um, and it wasn't extremely urgent, but it could have been. And it's nice to, we kind of do research, you know, Melissa will research as we're going to a location to kind of know what's in the area, know what's around. Mm -hmm. So if something happens, you're prepared. Yeah, you don't want to get caught with your pants down in an emergency. And in particular, we learned that kind of the hard way with the, the emergency vet clinic. We were in Bryce Canyon and we ended up driving two hours to the closest emergency vet clinic open on a Saturday, all the way in St. George, Utah. But so it's just always good to know those things and be prepared. All right, guys, so one thing we really like to do when we get to a new area or before we arrive is just go into Google and say emergencies, whatever town you're closest to. Um, for instance, we got emergency alert the other day for a dust storm. You know, that's something that we're not used to. So if you Google emergencies Tucson, you'll find common things in the area because, you know, desert is completely different from where we grew up. We were also in Texas and we were getting a ton of emergency alerts, which will segue into that, um, for tornadoes. We're California kids. We get earthquakes like once every 25 years. That's all we worry about. And that, you just go outside and you stand out in the open and you don't really need to worry about it. So these other emergencies, just be familiar with the area, with the terrain, with what can pop up and just do a little bit of research before you arrive. Moving right along with importance of knowing your surroundings is knowing whether there's any local siren sounds for, for example, tornado warnings or dam failure and knowing your local radio station that might alert you to these potential failures. And potential evacuation routes. Um, obviously that's gonna change when you're changing with the area. Yeah, so remember, keep in mind, fires, flood, any other natural disasters, Always good to know what you're getting yourself into. Speaking of natural disasters, we have an older video where we were kicked out or kindly asked to leave, whatever you want to call it, um, a uh, national forest because of forest fires. Um, that's something that we were aware of when we were in the area and we knew that was a potentially something that could happen. Something that is very important is to invest in a good personal um, health insurance policy, obviously, we're not going to get too much into that because that's like a whole can of worms, but have a health insurance and then obviously have a good insurance policy for your rig, your truck, your trailer, your RV, and just make sure everything's covered. We just wanted to touch base on that and that could be a whole different video down the road. All right, guys, and something that we learned specifically when we were traveling through Texas for the first time and experiencing tornado warnings for the first time is it is very important to have a weather app on your phone 
that is set to give you alerts for severe or inclement weather in your area, like tornado warnings or tornado watches. Um, there's various apps out there. We like Fox WAP, W-A-P-P, weather app. Um, and you can check the radar and you're always gonna be able to know when a storm is coming through an area and uh, keep yourself prepared and aware. Also with those weather apps, you could be looking at the forecast up to like 14 days out. Um, so you can know if potentially there's like a hurricane coming in or just severe weather and maybe you have plenty of time to get out of the area if that's something you wanna do or do certain things to hunker down. Um, but just being prepared like a couple weeks out gives you an idea of what's going on. All right guys, so Survivewear here did reach out to us and these are some pretty awesome first aid kits. We wanna let you know that these were given to us, but this is not a sponsored video. Um, after thoroughly going through them, we really like them. Um, they will be available on Amazon Prime, link below. But uh, they gave us three different sizes to kind of try them out and see what we thought. So this is the larger of them and we plan on keeping this one in our trailer and it has literally everything you could imagine. And that's nice to keep in the trailer. Mm -hmm. um, then we have this other option that's a, a bit smaller, that's a bit more portable this, and is really good for keeping in your vehicle. Yeah, this is their trauma kit, which like comes with a tourniquet and stuff for like car accidents or in a horrible case, mass shootings and it's a tear away. Emergency. Let's go. Yeah, so good. this part attaches to, to your, your vehicle or your headrest or wherever. And then this part has a handle where you just pull it off. So that's good if a quick emergency. And then this smaller one we've been bringing with us on hikes, on mountain bike rides. It stores very easily in a backpack or to your handlebars. And what we like about all these is they have multiple mounting um, ways to mount all of them. So like we said, uh, we just wanted to share that with you guys. Don't feel obligated. This is not a sponsored video. Yeah. Um, and these are just some great options for having a first aid kit with you wherever you are, you know, like in your rig, um, in your vehicle, and in your backpack for hiking or w what have you. All right, obviously having these first aid kits is always great um, because you are your first line of defense, especially in remote areas. But it's always a good idea to have CPR and first aid knowledge so you can take a course and get certified. Um, you know, or even, you know, bare minimum, watch some videos and get some basic knowledge on how to handle certain emergency situations that could arise. Yeah, this is, you know, a subject that's near and dear to us. Uh, we've seen a lot, we've gone through a lot, and it's just something to put some value into and be responsible with this type of stuff. We yeah. definitely weren't as into emergency preparedness as we should have been yeah. um, but you know sometimes it takes a life-changing event to make you realize uh, what is really important mm -hmm. so we just wanted to touch on that yes I immediately um, after that traumatic event that we went through um, I immediately went out and got CPR certified so I would know what to do if something like that ever happened again because I, w I found myself horribly unprepared um, and fearful of the emergency as it was happening. Um, but I've, you know, become since very prepared yes. if anything were to happen it's again. It's very important. And if you guys have any questions on these, please let us know in the comments and we'll do our best to help you out. Mm -hmm. Another priority is to make sure your smoke alarms work. We know ours works because it goes off every time I cook bacon. <laughs> and secondly, your carbon monoxide uh, detector and have a fire extinguisher on board. We have two fire extinguishers because our rig is a little larger. We have one here by the main entry door and then we also have one in the toy box. So that's just another step to make sure everything's working, make sure it's all within date range because those fire extinguishers do expire. So last but definitely not least, it's always important to have a go bag ready for bugging out in any emergency. So. Uh, we keep ours in our backpacking backpack right here under the bed, ready to go at a moment's notice. 
And these types of backpacks are specifically made for backpacking, but since we don't do that activity too often, we just keep it stocked with um, a few items that are always good to have in case of an emergency. So that can be a flashlight and some extra batteries or a headlamp, an extra phone charger, and uh, maybe even a solar powered phone charger or portable power pack. And a company that we work with, Lion Energy, actually makes a few of those products. If you want to check them out, we'll put a link below. And you can always use our affiliate code. What is our affiliate code, Jesse? Adventure15. Adventure15 um, to save yourself 15%. And we also keep things like another small first aid kit in here, an emergency blanket, non-perishable snacks, sometimes the mountain house meals are, are always good, a jet boil portable stove, and a water filter, or you could put bottled water in here, but we keep a water filter in here. And um, always important that most people wouldn't think of is cash and credit cards. Always important to have in your go bag in case, um, you know, it's not always the easiest to grab your wallet. So cash is always a good thing to have, especially in emergency scenarios. All right, guys. So just to kind of round everything out, we just want to say that it's very important to be ready for emergencies. That was just a very quick video on all of the different things to consider. And we want to say too, from personal experience, always value life over possessions. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's why we have the go bag. We can grab that, grab our dogs, be good to go and you know know that we're going to survive any situation um we're by no means like crazy preppers or anything yeah. but you know these are just a few small things to keep in in your thought process yeah, um because if you uh fail to prepare you are preparing yourself for failure so oh, i like that that was fancy <laughs> oh thanks um but yeah keep in mind you know your personal safety and your life is more important than any possessions yes. so if it really comes down to it you know, get in your car and leave your Just rig behind. Ditch your rig. Don't mm -hmm. worry about it. That's what insurance is for, like yep. we spoke on. And like always, guys, uh, you know, hopefully you enjoyed it. So you give us one of these. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can never miss one of our videos. Thanks for watching.